question is from Parker Glessner 6.6. Despite you guys not loving machines, what is your favorite machine and why? Mm. I think we need to clear Ooh. that up first. Yeah, we do. It's not that we don't like machines. Uh, machines have a lot of value when you um, inject them into you a, a well-planned and programmed workout. It's just the reliance on machines or the uh, that's all I do is machines. Uh, is it tends to be the problem. Um, free weights. I mean, a couple different reasons why free weights are better um, overall. Free weights form to the body. Machines, your body has to form to the machine. Uh, machines are typically designed for someone who's about average height, mm. average limb length. Even though the seats adjust and the arm lengths adjust, you get a tall guy like Adam on there uh, or somebody who's a little bit shorter like Doug, and some machines just don't work well for them at all. And I used to encounter this with clients. I put them on a machine and it just didn't line up well with them. The other thing is that uh, free weights tend to, some of the best exercises you could ever do for your body are the free weight ones. I have yet to see a deadlift machine, um, a squat machine. There's very few that are, I would even put in the same category as a squat. Yeah. That being said, adding machines um, can be beneficial. Machines. Yeah, they have their value. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when you're in a fixed position and and you know you have like these machines that you're on a track, you can only get really good at going on that specific track. And so you know the carryover for me has always been not quite as substantial as you know me doing that same exercise, but now having a lot more variables attached because it's it that's just more things to consider when I have to move in multiple directions. Right. And now adding frequency and volume and changing the angles. Machines can be awesome. If you see me working out in a gym, because I usually work out in my garage and my garage is mainly free weights. If you see me in a gym, you'll see me using mostly machines. And a lot of that is because I just don't have access to machines. So I like the, the novelty. My body responds well to throwing them in um, every once in a while. When I have access to them, I use them quite a bit. As far as favorite machines are concerned, I mean, I have one machine that if I see it in the gym, I'm going to use it. Yeah. The pullover machine. Love the pullover. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not a lot of gyms have them. I was wondering what you were going to say. Yeah, I haven't like, seen that yeah, in every gym. That's one, that's one machine that if I see it in a gym, I'm going to 100. I love it. I love the feel of it. It's better than a dumbbell pullover even. I don't know if I have a single one machine. I love machines and, and being a, the bodybuilder, one of us, uh, I mean, they were, I, they were used a lot. Um, I still my my core training was still uh, free weights and compound lifts, but you know I did a, a lot of the auxiliary work. I did a lot of these you know focusing on little little details and small muscle groups. Uh, so I I think I have probably a favorite machine for I there's not a lot of gyms. Okay, so I'll go Sal's direction, like a, a rare one to see, or I get really excited. I love and and I'm so pissed. In fact. The gym that I go to on a regular basis got rid of this machine, and there's a rear delt fly machine that you lay face down. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Oh, that's a great one. I fucking love that machine. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, and why I'm, I'm partial to that because rear delts were a, a major focus of mine when I was competing. It really, just brought out my back and my my shoulders. And there's not a lot of machines uh, that are designed uh, for the rear delts at all. And that was a phenomenal machine. Would so. you guys can can you can you say that a cable exercises are machines, or is that out of the out of the category? Uh, I would consider it a machine. Uh, you know, like a free motion cable machine. Like, I mean, because it's all. I mean, the thing about that though is it gives you a lot of uh, angles. Well, mm -hmm. if, if you were going to use that, then I would have to. That is because if you or if you were going to use that as uh, listing what we think is our favorite, I use a, a free. Yeah, I'll motion. probably use that the most. Yeah, I use a free motion cables the most cables because you can do so much. Yeah, like it. a low pulley row is a staple in in a, in a back workout. A lat pull down. Tends to be a staple um, in a workout. Yeah. Um, so cables, if you put cables in there. Oh, I and, love cables. And when I train clients, if I put a client on a machine, and if we're considering cables machines, 99% of the time it was cables. 99% mm -hmm. of the time. That yeah. was the machine that I would put another, on. Another great, and I don't know if this falls in this category, um, I like the seated row, uh, I mean, excuse me, the T-bar row mm -hmm. uh, chest support machine. Yeah. And the reason why I like that is because I deadlift so much and sometimes my low back is a little fried from deadlifting, but I still want to hit my hit my back and keep the frequency up. Mm -hmm. And so an exercise like that lends itself really well because I can still load it good. I can still train 
my back really hard, but then I'm not I'm not crushing my erector spinae you, at all. You know, it's another good machine that you never see anymore. And I know, uh, I think you've, you you and I have talked about this before, Adam. I think this was a favorite of yours too. The lateral machine where it was, they were metal arms and there were handles that you held oh, with yeah, your hands. Yeah, yeah. And it was like a circular cam and you yeah. came out and did yeah. laterals. Yeah. That one, I don't know why I don't see those. I think because people don't know how to use it. But I love that yeah, for probably. shoulders. Absolutely I, one of my favorites. I still, I love the reverse hyper. I consider that a machine, uh, even though like it's plate loaded and, you know, but to me, like I get such a great feeling, you know, all the way up the back, my entire posterior chain, I can, I can feel get involved with that exercise. So I, I'll, I'll supplement with that every now and then, you know, in between deadlifts, in between good yeah. morning. Yeah. I think, like that. I think we could all go down the rabbit hole here yeah. of, of ma machines are great. I think the reason why we've made that point on this show um and that's why i wanted to clear it up before we went on this tangent of like that we've all started on different there's a lot of favorite machines and machines have a, a definitely value the problem is it a lot of pe the average person that that is either listening to this show or that we would train gravitates towards machines in fear of training free weights and compound lifts and they don't have they don't right. spend a lot of time in the gym the average person is going to work out Two to three days a week, forty-five minutes to an hour, and uh, if when you don't have a whole lot of time, you want to do the most effective, best, most functional exercises, and that's free weights. Now, if you're in the gym five days a week, and you're hitting every body part two, three times a week, and you're doing all these different exercises, well, now machines have a lot more value. Now you're looking for more angles, you're looking for different types of tension on you're, the muscle. You're looking at hitting certain muscle groups and not exhausting another side, like the example yep. I gave the T-bar rows, so you're trying to complement your comp. So that's, I like machines to complement all the big compound lifts. I wouldn't, I, where we hate machines, or I think we talk out on them a lot, is replacing them with those. Don't ever, don't, and that's mm. where we have to be careful when we explain stuff like this, where we talk about the value and how great this machine is or that machine is. It's not great if it replaces uh, a, a good free weight exercise or a lot of the, the free weight or compound lifts that we talk about on the show. It's incredible. They're incredible to complement all those movements. So no matter what your favorite machine is, even like a dumbbell pullover, well, dumbbell pullover is great and Sal loves that machine, but I guarantee it's not great in replace of a deadlift no. or a row. No. no, Those are staple movements. That's a great tool or a great thing to incorporate to complement the big, the big compound. Lifts. Totally. 